the original internet source code as an NFT, Twitter adding some new privacy features, and Razer launches its first AMD powered laptop. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes here to bring you some of the latest tech news. The strange and beautiful world of NFTs has opened up a virtual Pandora's box when it comes to ownership of things I didn't think you could own. Well today I present you with a truly unique NFT and that is the internet's original source code. Yes, the creator of the modern internet, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, is set to auction the source code with the proceeds to be donated to various charitable organizations. Famously, he refused to patent the original source code, reasoning that the World Wide Web was an invention that should remain free from commercial interests and that only then could everyone truly enjoy everything it has to offer. The World Wide Web NFT will include the original timestamp files of the project source code, an animated visualization of that code, a unique letter from Sir Tim regarding the development process, and another unique digital poster of his creation. Talking to the Financial Times, Sir Berners-Lee said that there are similarities between the still-fledgling world of cryptocurrencies and his original invention. The original vision being an interconnected network of personal pages rather than an internet dominated by several large corporations. Now, NFTs are controversial tech for sure, many believing them to be either a waste of time or simply a money-making scheme, while others see it as a potential core aspect of our increasingly digitized world. Now, wherever you fall on this spectrum, there's no doubt that this application will add some legitimacy to the concept, and at the very least, will be used in part for charitable reasons. Next up, we've got Twitter working on a new privacy feature that will allow you to unmention yourself from posts that you're tagged in. Dominic Camozzi, Twitter's privacy designer, released a series of tweets outlining the concept, stating, sometimes you want to talk and sometimes you just don't. Check out these early concepts that could help control unwanted attention on Twitter. Feedback, especially at this beginning stage, is invited and wanted. In the current concept, we can see that the new feature would live in the options menu for a tweet. Additionally, if a user decides to unmention themselves from the tweet, the original tweet's author wouldn't be notified of the change. Twitter would also send users a notification when somebody they don't follow mentions them, allowing users to review the mention. Users will also have the option from stopping these accounts from mentioning them ever again without blocking the account. All this said, this feature is still a concept and with no timeline in place, there really is no guarantee that it'll be implemented. What is clear with this and other recent features is that Twitter is paying more effort to improving their privacy tools and really trying to reduce the amount of negative experiences on their platform. And lastly, during E3, Razer revealed their 14-inch Razer Blade gaming laptop, which for the first time will feature AMD hardware. Now, we've seen Razer's 14-inch laptops before, however, this was three years ago and it certainly didn't feature any AMD processing power. But now Razer fans can look forward to a laptop that is reportedly one of the fastest in its class. The laptop comes in a sleek black and can be purchased in three different versions, ranging from $1,800 for the base model to $2,800 for the top tier model. The main differences between the models is the screen resolution, refresh rate, and the GPU. The base model is only a 1080p resolution display, while the second and third tier models come in a quad HD resolution, so no 4K option available at the moment. The Blade 14 comes with plenty of Razer signature bells and whistles. For example, the devices all come complete with per-key full Razer chroma backlighting, THX spatial audio for an improved sound experience, and plenty of ports so you can hook up your other devices easily. With its sleek look and powerful specs, the Blade 14 will definitely be the gaming laptop to beat. And that wraps up today's video, guys. Now, if you want to keep up to date on the latest tech news, then definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to make sure you're notified. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes, and we will catch you in the next one.